Zack Snyder to direct and co-write. LAPD action thriller for Netflix. That's right, folks. Zack Snyder, shockingly, is still at Netflix. And that's right. I am shocked at this. This is what I said on X the other day. I am shocked at this. Then again, Netflix doesn't make sound logical decisions all the time. Zack dropped the ball big time with Rebel Moon. The fact they are letting him near the writer's room for this is a red flag. I am shocked about this. So I wanted to pull this up. So it says Zack Snyder to direct, co-write LAPD action thriller for Netflix. This is an exclusive for The Hollywood Reporter. It says Zack is calling the cops with two-part epic sci-fi saga, Rebel Moon behind him. The filmmakers reteaming with Netflix for a new feature project. This one, an untitled action movie centered on the LAPD. Snyder will direct the feature and is co-writing it with Kurt Johnstad, his freaking collaborator with whom he's worked on 300, the ad uh, adaptation of Frank Miller comic and the Rebel Moon movies, among others. Snyder is producing along wife and partner Deborah Snyder and Wesley, Wesley Collar via the Trio Stone Quarry banner. The project promises to be Snyder's first truly grounded feature as it won't be populated by laser shooting rebels, brain eating zombies, bone breaking cape crusaders, or limb severing Spartans that have made up the ovoir, 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 over, whatever, of the popular filmmaker words. But it promises to be just a dramatic, them thematically weighty and action packed. Spe specific details are being kept in lockup but the action thriller is being described as being set in the high stakes world of life and death centered on an elite lapd unit that is relentlessly confronted with the unforgiving collision of law and morality the project will mark a full circle moment for snyder more than 20 years ago he was seeking to transition from music videos to commercials he landed his first feature with swat an action movie set up by sony he wanted to make big surprise an r-rated movie the studio wanted pg-13 he quit the project uh, that movie did not do very well. That was not very good. It had what Colin Farrell was it Colin Farrell and Samuel Jackson in that. Was it Samuel Jackson? I don't remember. It wasn't very good from what I remember. Uh, years ago, Dan Lynn, uh, Netflix's head of film and I had a conversation about our shared interest in telling a compelling and visual character driven story set within the intense, complex, captivating landscape of the LAPD. It's a conversation that stuck with me, said Snyder in a statement to the Hollywood Reporter. So as you would expect, I'm very excited to, sh uh, to now have the opportunity to partner with Dan along with the rest of my amazing partners at Netflix in developing this story. The new project will be the fourth feature Snyder will have directed for Netflix after the Rebel Moon failures and Army of Dead. It will also be the sixth project Stone Quarry will have made for Netflix as the banner produced the Army of Dead prequel Army of Thieves, and the animated series, which was Disgusting and Gross, Twilight of the Gods, which released in September. So, yeah. Yeah, so he's got he's got a show. He, or not a show, a, a movie on Netflix. I honestly don't, don't believe <laughs> this is going to... Look, I want him to do well. The problem I see with this is that he's in the writer's room, and this is an original story. And that is the problem with Zack Snyder is he constant. Look, you give him a story to adapt. You give him 300, you give him uh, Batman versus Superman. You give him Watchmen, you give him something to adapt. And you're going to have a really cool story, really interesting story and great visuals, good directing. That's what you get with Zack Snyder, but you give him an original con you know, an original film Sucker Punch, not great. You give him an original film. Army of the Dead was was good. It was decent. That's probably his best original film that he made. The two Rebel Moon movies were atrocious. And I know people want to sit there and say, no, you're wrong. You were big hits for Netflix. Look, I went through the numbers. I went on Netflix's own website. They are not great. They are not great. I'm not saying this because I want to shit on Zach. I'm saying this because I'm worried about him because he's not good when he makes his own stories. That's the problem. And I, I don't understand why those in his circle don't tell him this. 
I don't understand that. Like you have these directors and these, these filmmakers out there, like take someone like, uh, uh, you bull, I think is how you say his name or you, Ebo or you, you bull, whatever his name is. He knows his lane. Like he knows he's a B tier director. He knows his lane. He doesn't go out there thinking he can go above what he can do, but I'm sure he knows that because of the people around him, because they were willing to tell him, Hey, this is what your lane is. This is what you're good at. Zach needs that. His wife, who is a movie producer, who was a movie producer before she was with him, should have the balls to sit there and say, hey, honey, look, here's the thing. You suck at this. You're not good at this, but here's the thing. You're good at this. Stay in your lane here. You've tried this thing X amount of times. When you try this thing, it's not that successful. So why don't we move you back into your lane where you're good and let's keep going that direction so you see more success that's how they need to do it you know like i i just don't understand why they keep beating a dead horse with him and the problem is you take a look at something like rebel moon not only was the writing bad the story bad but because of everything that stuff being bad the directing was bad. The cinematography was bad. The, the action scenes were bad. The things that are normally good for Zack Snyder were so bad in that movie as well because he was wasting so much time on the other shit that he's not good at. And that's a problem. And again, I worry about, like, you know, get in your lane, man. Get in your lane to what is good and then give us a good thing. Give us another 300. Give us another Watchman. Give us another Man of Steel. Like, give us the films, the things that you're good at because you're in the lane that you should be in.